At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson, and we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It is Manchester City taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Ederson stands between the posts. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And providing the main goal-scoring threat today is Erling Haaland. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Well, it's a 4 5 1, but with three of the midfield players giving close support to the centre forward, and the other two sitting deeper. Also, watch out for the fullbacks getting forward at every opportunity. They do like to get crosses into the box. Thank you. Enjoy your day at the legendary Wembley Stadium. And now they get the ball rolling. Palmer. What can Chelsea do from this position? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Alvarez the ball with Rodri he continues his run Rodri could play it in cuts it back Holland Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. I just couldn't play that decisive ball. Moises Caicedo. And using his strength to shield the ball. But just like that, possession changes hands. Good idea. Foden. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Sterling. Well, Chelsea being afforded too much space here. Sterling crossing. And a goal for Chelsea! They hit the front in the final. How important will that be? Well, here it is again. Sterling's cross really does invite somebody to attack it. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Bernardo Silva. Gvardiol. Now with Silva. And the advantage is with City. And can they make one of these passes count? 
Good strength to keep the ball. And Bernardo Silva has it. Foden. Now the attack fizzled out. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. And it might appeal to Raheem Sterling, you know. Oh, keeper dealt with it. And the referee now going back to deal with the earlier incident. A yellow card it's going to be. And taken short. An alert piece of defending. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. And the referee's whistle. That will conclude the first half here at Wembley. So they get the ball rolling in the second half and Chelsea hoping to build upon a largely positive first half showing. Could be threatening. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And then the perfect finish from Foden. Great technique. There's no stopping that. Well, you can see his frustration. They've just lost their focus here. Back underway. Level pegging. One goal apiece in this game. Foden and support available electing to shoot what a block Enzo Fernandez Palmer with it Nkunku has it given away by Chelsea Rodri Bernardo Silva Holland Phil Foden now and the ball back with Chelsea now might really be able to trouble them here that's a good looking ball oh but he's done brilliantly to cut it out Just 20 minutes remaining now. Oh, fancy footwork. Well, he put the cross into the right place, but no one able to finish it off. Chilwell. Nkunku. Sterling. the challenge that was required Alvarez Holland the ball with Rodri 
or sitting deep and just trying to form a really coherent block. Oh, good vision. Rodri. Phil Foden. And defensive play to be applauded. Not giving him a moment's peace. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. And it's positive from Manchester City. Is it in the court? And still an opportunity. Oh, a goal! Late drama here. And surely that's one hand on the trophy. So little time left for a response now. Well, just watch this again. Foden drift past his opponent with such ease, and Haaland wasn't going to miss that one. From that sort of range, he was always going to score. What a well-constructed goal. They certainly have, and they deserve to do it as well. They were the best.